You know, we've seen quite a few demonstrations tonight, and most of them you saw on a uh, cell phone display. And the question here was, uh, will the cell phone be the next mega TV? So what I want to show you is what can you see on the cell phone, what other things you can do with the cell phone to watch TV. Now there's this little thing that this guy here is holding. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll get to the end and then we'll see. There are really three things that you do with TV content. First thing is you acquire it. And how do you acquire it? You get it through DVDH, uh, broadcast, multicast, unicast, podcast, you download it from your PC, you download it off the air. Uh, but the next thing is, and this is really what enables the TV experience, you store it. You store it on the phone, and phones today have a lot of storage. But I want to focus on the third thing, which is you experience it. And I'll skip just one slide and talk about the experience itself. Uh, we have demonstrated in Texas Instruments, and one of the nice things about phones is they almost all have Texas Instruments component in them. But you know, you, you look at those components, and those, those little black square, square things, and, and they're not very attractive. Well, we have a few very interesting, very attractive things here today. We yes. demonstrated the CTIA, a TV, a phone with an OMAC processor that showed a high definition picture on a 60 inch 720p high definition TV. The other thing we showed, and you see this little phone there, it's actually real. We have managed to put a projector into a phone and use that. And now, as I'm going to go back into my first slide, this little thing that you see held by somebody hand, somebody's hand is an actual DLP projector. Now, I wanted to demonstrate that projector today. Unfortunately, they don't let me carry that projector. So what they give me is they give me another small projector. So it's a relatively small projector, as you can see. I'm going to put the TV on it, just so that you'll see what it looks like. And of course, we're going to the power. This is a projector. We managed to miniaturize a projector just like this, put it inside a cell phone, and it projects up to 15 to 17 inches in the screen. That's what you're seeing right now. You're not seeing a PC, and you're not seeing a cell phone display. That was disgusting. Yes, I do. So as I go back, it's not just about having the picture on the phone. Uh, Jerry, you mentioned that when you started, the, the screen just got bigger on the phones. You probably all remember the first phones we had that we were lucky if we showed the entire phone number that we were dialing. Then the, the screens got a little bigger. They're still very personal, but we're thinking beyond the personal experience of the phone. The phone has a lot of capacity. This capacity holds content of very high quality, and it's about time to start sharing it. So what you can see is uh, things like we're presenting here before, personal video recording in a phone, picture in picture in a phone, very high quality electronics uh, service guide in a phone. But beyond that, when you start wanting to share it, you take your phone and you start showing pictures in high definition, 720p, pretty soon going to 1080 on high definition TVs, or even carrying a projector inside your phone. We have it right now, and seriously, the reason they don't let me take it, take it is because all the phones we have that have projectors are all over the world right now being shown to customers. The critical success factors, why will, why will mobile TV succeed in a phone? He is moving to Texas, great, that's good. Uh, one thing, open standards. You have to have industry, broad industry around it. Mobile TV Alliance, uh, Jerry mentioned that I'm uh, working for Texas Instruments. I'm also the president of the Mobile DTV Alliance, combining uh, quite a few companies that to support mobile TV, open standards. Uh, ease of use. It has to be easy to use. It has to be as intuitive as using a remote control for TV. And finally, business models that make money. And they need to make money for the operators. They need to make money for the content owners. Obviously, to the phone manufacturers and, of course, to semiconductor companies.